Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So I just made a big move. I just bought another gold shot bow weapon, the cursed shot bow, to replace my existing gold weapon. This shot bow will generate a mark whenever skill is used. After 5 marks, it will increase the active skills by 15% for the next 4 seconds. This effect triggers every 12 seconds. Now I get this gold shot bow not because of its skill effect, but purely because of the elite card slot that it have. For quite some time now, I have been saving crystals. I have been planning to upgrade my gold weapon to upgrade tier 2 to unlock the elite card slot, so I can slot and use more cards. For that, I need about 5.8 million crystals to buy the silver 2 item and also the MVP coin needed for the upgrade. I still shot off about 800,000 crystals, but luckily at the same time, I managed to stock up enough diamonds to get the low tier gold weapon that have the elite card slot, which costs 81,000 diamonds. This is a hard earned diamonds that I accumulated for several months with the monthly 30,000 diamond monthly quota in the Korea server. In my server, topping up players are becoming less and less less. It is not as many like in the beginning of the game. So getting this amount of diamonds takes a lot of patience and luck too. It's not every day that you can see players selling the diamonds at the exchange center. And when it does, when someone sells the diamond in the exchange center, usually it will be selling out fast. I thought making 6 million crystals will be easier in the Korea server. Turns out the item the price at the exchange center is becoming like the SEA server. The item price is gradually dropped with every new map introduced. And now that I got myself a new gold weapon with diamonds, I am 5 million crystals richer. And with that, I know exactly what I'm going to do with this amount of crystals. Can you guess what I'm going to do with these 5 million crystals? You guessed it right. I'm going to buy cards to slot into my new gold weapon. What card exactly, you would ask? The Korea server is currently at the level 110 Komodo Island version. I am a short bow ranger, so of course I'm going to get the seal final physical penetration weapon card. I have 5 card slots for the new gold weapon, and I'm going to get all 5 of them from the exchange center. But before that, let's do a DPS test on my current build. I have about 1,500 dex and about 44,000 physical attack, 231% final physical penetration, 66% final physical damage bonus, and 75% fire attribute damage. Now I know my final physical damage bonus is quite low, but as a penetration build, I am aiming to get the double penetration stat. And from from my experience with my longbow penetration build ranger in the SCA server, the penetration stat can go as high as 400% and the damage will still keep on increasing exponentially. So that is what I'm going to do for my short bow ranger in the Korea server too. I'm going to get more penetration stat. So usually I will test it on the Frioni for DPS test, but shyly to say that I haven't do a lot of MVP hunt in the Korea server. And so, I have not unlocked the Frioni at the training ground for the test. The only mini boss and MVP that I have on the list is the Lunatic. So we're going to test it on the Lunatic for this.
data at this one minute the dps is about 490,000. and now let's desocket the new gold shot bow and see if i have enough crystals to get five seal cards The seal card is cost about 500,000 crystals. So 5 will cost, I mean for the total crystals that I have, I can get 10 of these. This is just perfect. Let's get 5 seal cards. Now I can, technically speaking, farm at the seal master location for the seal drop card. But I have been farming here since I am at level 100 since the Korea server launched the update for the Komodo Island patch. And guess what? Up until now, I didn't get even one seal card. And so let's do what I do best. That is farm crystals and buy it directly at the exchange center instead all right and now let's slot them all and let's test the dps That is 1 minute, the DPS is about 850,000. That is a total of about 73% DPS increase. Wow, that is actually a lot. Well, I still have more than 2 million crystals to be used. And I still have one more card that I have in mind that I think I want to use. And that is the Narrate Final Physical Damage Bonus Headgear card. On the headgear, I am using 3 Attack on Titan Zeke Penetration cards and one slime tensura benimaru final physical damage bonus card i can buy one red card and replace the benimaru card but on second thought i am planning to use the umbala dryad penetration card here for the headgear so i think i'm just going to wait for that card and just use the benimaru card for the moment all right so that is the latest update for my short bow ranger in the korea server and now that my equipment and cards are sort of done so to say this is what i am aiming for and this setup is going to be used up until the juno version literally so no more changes need to be done apart from the cards i'm going to replace all of the headgear card with the dryad penetration cards when the umbala page is updated in the future and with that i can now focus on my upgrade and enchant awakening next Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye bye.